Yeah, I feel terrible. I... Oh, gosh. All these people died, and I was responsible for that, too. Oh, this is so morbid. Lots of lost life. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Hmm. I'm... Why do you want my opinion? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. Okay. Would you find him useful? I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Okay. I don't think it's your decision to make. I say that because I think the Arl should make that decision with the soul. With the Arlessa. What do you mean? He is responsible for many of the problems here and is a Malefica as well. Okay, no need to get snippy. What I'm saying... Oh. He is a circle of magizers. Yeah, I think so. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. Okay. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Okay. Um. I'll seek out the urn. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerhan. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Jenny TV. But perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. Thank you. I'm pretty sure he was upset about that, but my decision... Um, let's read this book really quick. Got it. Oh, sweet. Someone leveled up. Um, I... Oh. We're gonna go ahead and search the Maker castle. Maker bless you, Grey Warden. Thank you. You saved us all. You have. What is that? Is that a doll? That is the creepiest looking doll I've ever seen. Um, let's talk to Connor. You. You're the one who saved me. Actually, it was Morgan. Then, I guess I owe her thanks. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. I hope Father gets better soon. He will. Won't he? Uh, I hope so. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and search the castle. And see if we can find some things. But I assume we're going to go and find the urn next. Can we go in here? All right, all right. Doggone it. Okay. Um, let's go in here. Let's, I think we came this way already. Oh, maybe not. Sapphires. What else do we have? Um, what's in here? Okay. A shield. And the book. Journal, Journal of the Trinkle. 
Okay, we searched that area. I do I need a key for this that door? Got it. Is there anything in here? Yeah. Oh, definitely need potions. Oh, what is this? A gift. Sweet. Oh, no, we don't want to go this way. Wait a minute. What is up here? This is the main floor. Oh, okay. Well, we can go down there. Um, but I definitely want to try to get in the locked door. So I have to remember to come back. Because I can't go in there. Oh, oh that's a vault. Oh. Okay. Let's head down to the main floor then. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Absolutely. All right. So where are we? We're in... Can I go here? Oh, there's so much to be cleaned up. I don't want to even think about what happened here. Girl, get yourself a mop. Ooh. Nice. So many goodies. So much stuff. I'm not, you guys look creepy. Just so you know. Alistair's mother's amulet. Yeah, we're definitely giving them all of that. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, where else can we go? Can we go through here? Is there a... Did we come through here? I feel like we came through here already. Yeah, we killed some people. Just bodies. And this is the way out. Was there another door? Okay, so it's basically just that door that we couldn't get in. Uh, let's talk to T again once more. You returned. Might you have news? Oh, um, no. Then I must resume my duties. The civil war continues, and Loghain is no doubt angered Redcliffe has not been disabled. Good luck, my lady. You are a great and noble woman. I hope it continues to go well, for all our sakes. Thank you. Okay. I assume we've searched everything. So, except for that locked door, which is the vault. We will come back when our lock skill is higher unlock skill yeah because we still have to um to search the um the tower oh i do need to do one more thing before i leave and that is to where where is it at red cliff i need to talk to valena's father the blacksmith uh, she escaped back to town Going back the way she came, or I came, check on her, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we're going to go to the village, and please just go straight to the village. No detours. Uh, oh, okay, cutscene. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well... It seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? A nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out. We'll not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Okay. Uh, yeah, so back to the village. Wait, okay. It's down here, right? Oops. 
Yeah, so she seems to think that, or believe that her father killed her husband, and uh, he's obviously not going to tell her, but uh, he will not admit to that to anyone. But he is responsible for Kaylin's death. And I honestly have a love-hate relationship with Honora. Um, there are a few people that actually like her. I don't know. I don't know. I She has some redeeming qualities, but yeah. Oh, there's a chatter board. What's here? Cavern down. We'll take that. Thank you. Brother and sons. We'll take that. Skin deep. We'll take that. Okay, we're just going to take all of this. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Let's talk to the this guy. As I live and breathe, you're the Grey Warden everyone's been talking about. Uh, at your service? I represent the Blackstone Irregulars. We're a mercenary company that fell on hard times after the war with Orle. I'm sure you know that times are getting worse every day. With your help, the Irregulars could be of use to Ferelden once more. How can I be of service? Our leaders thought you might be willing to help. Each of our posts in Ferelden will contain letters addressed to you. Unlike most who work with us, you're getting letters straight from Railnor and Tauran, our leaders. I hope this tells you how highly the Irregulars regard the Grey Wardens. Okay, I'll take a look. Thank you. When you've completed a mission, just return to me or any of our members stationed at an Irregulars post. We'll make sure your efforts are rewarded. Make us blessings light your path. Thank you. Let's take a look then, see what you got. Dereliction of duty and grease the wheels. Um, oh yeah, we, we wanted to go, oh wait. Didn't we, uh, weren't we supposed to talk to these two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive and it's finally over. Oh. <laughs> Uh, there's still dark spawn to deal with. It's not okay. That sounds. Let's see. What are you going to do now? How about with that? Mother and father both gone. I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage. Maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I, don't think I that's won't forget fair. what you did, though. Neither of us will. Thank you. Okay. I promise to return your grandfather's sword. Um, why do you have to go off to an orphanage? With mother and father dead, we don't have any money. I think we have relatives in Denerim, but we've no way to get there. We'll be fine. I promised mother I'd see to Bevan's safety, and I will. Okay, so... I want to give them their sword, but I also want to help them to help them get to Denerim. So if I, I'm like... Because I know they can sell the sword, but, okay. I promise to return your father's sword. I can't take it back. If you need it, keep it. Grandfather would want it in the hands of a hero. You could sell it. Yeah, you could sell oh, it. I wager she is robbed of it the moment we leave. I suppose it's quite valuable, isn't it? Perhaps someone in the city will buy it. Thank you again. We should leave now, I suppose. There's a wagon taking us north, and I don't want to miss it. Farewell. Okay, she didn't... Ugh, Morgan didn't like that. I kind of want... I wanted to send her off to dinner on with some money, but I guess I should have done that and not given her the sword. I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to go over here and talk to the blacksmith and make sure that his daughter got here. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? She did. My Belena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Sure. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you. I don't need a reward. Keep it. Must be, must be valiant. That's even kinder of you. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. I'm pretty sure that's not what value meant, <laughs> but whatever. All right, so we are done here. We do need to go find the sacred urn. Oh, there's a quest over here. 
Really? And after much sweat, blood and toil, her labors ended, and the world marveled at what she wrought. I'm not even sure what quest I just finished, but okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head to camp. Can we go from here? Yeah, let's head over to camp and chat with our buddies because we definitely want to do that after every major quest line. Um, oh. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. Sh sure, all right. Um, I think it went quite well, don't you? Yeah. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isle's family, and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It, well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. Okay, well, if we can stop the blight, we'll save much more. Um... You're welcome. Let's just say that. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh, wait. It's not Tuesday, is it? <laughs> All right. So Alistair approves. Let's see where we are with him. Um, Morgan, we're still pretty neutral with her. Alistair, he's warmed up to us. Awesome. When is warm? Uh, of course our dog loves us. Liana still kind of neutral. Stin, neutral. Zevrin, neutral. Okay. So Zevrin's new to the party, so we definitely want to talk to him. Um, I do want to... Wait, what is this? Oh, that's a quest. Uh, do we have any... Um, what do I want to do? Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to our party, and yeah, let's get to know Zevrin. Here I am. Yes, here you are. Care to answer any questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Okay. Um, tell me about Antiva. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this for Elden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. And it has assassins. Every land has its assassins. Some are simply more open about their business than others. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? No, I was born in Hyover in the north. Oh, I have never seen that place. I am sure it has its charms and its dogs. <laughs> You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. No, that's odd. I mean the smell. For years, I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits, packed in like crates. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home, more than anything else. Hmm. You sound like you've been away from home forever. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? Huh. Let's see. Your home is still there, Zevran. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a beautiful Grey Warden, a woman who then spares my life? I could not. Now you're flattering me. I say you are beautiful because it is true. Should I not? Ah. Don't bother, I'm on to you. Yeah, I'm on to you. Uh, I'm not sure that that's the route I would take. Were I to continue old habits, but 
as you wish. Okay. Now, it is all the same to you. <laughs> I would prefer not to speak more of Antima. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Okay. He disapproved? Really? Oh, that's not good. Okay. That, I thought that was a good conversation. All right. Let's talk to Sten. Yes. Uh, what were you doing in that cage, Sten? Sitting, as you observed. Okay. That's not what I meant. It's what you asked. Okay. Sure. Are you going to answer my question? <laughs> I did. Parshera. Was there anything else? I wanted to discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. Okay, that's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. You're a man of few words. As you wish. Okay. But let's talk to... Let's not talk to Morgan, because I know we, we still haven't done what we were supposed to do with, for her. Let's talk to Wynne. Have you encountered many abominations, apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? Uh, no. Um, I've heard many stories. You are younger than I, and your nerves yet have some steel in them. Did you feel any fear facing the abominations? I would say yes. She's never seen them, nor had to deal with them in any way. She has been around mages, so I would assume that she was afraid. I was terrified. Um... The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmare stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. Let's see. You're a great mage. You would never become an abomination. No. But it is this knowledge that drives you to be cautious. I like that answer. One slip. All it takes is one slip. And everything you are is simply gone, replaced by madness. And there is no turning back, or at least that's what they say. Hmm. Excuse me, yawned. Um, do you have doubts? Of late, I have begun to wonder if, if there is any way an abomination can be cured, or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity. Their humanity. Hmm. If one retains one's humanity, one is not an abomination. Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. You're welcome. Not very much approval. Okay. So I'm going to start giving out gifts in a, a second here because conversation-wise, we're not getting anywhere. Morgan, I, I kind of don't want to talk to her, but let's let's see. What do you wish of me? Hmm. I'd like to ask something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. No, I don't want to ask that. Okay. Um... Yeah, tell you what, let's talk to Alistair once more, and then we're going to start giving out some gifts. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Oh. Chances are we'll be heading to dinner room soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. Oh, okay. You have a friend outside the Grey Warden? I'm not talking about a friend. Exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But after I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. Have you contacted her? No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostigar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that 
maybe it's time I went to see her. Mm. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Okay, um... If you want to, we could try. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Of course. Okay, so we have a new quest for Alistair to find his sister in Denerim. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check in my inventory for some gifts. And let me check. Okay, Morgan, we realize, is neutral. So I think there was something in here for Morgan. I could be wrong, though. Um, I know she likes jewels. So I guess I can give her this ring. Interesting. She liked it. Okay. Um, Alice. Oh, that's right. I wanted to give. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Here it is. No. What is it? Um, here it is. His mother's amulet. This. This is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I, f I found it in Redcliffe, in the study. Oh, the owl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. That he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he meant to give it back to you. Ah, uh, perhaps you mean more to him than you think. I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Well, you know. Uh, ooh. Of course, I remember you're special to me. Sorry, did you say something? Yeah, sorry. Did, did you say something? Ho, ho, ho. See this gesture I'm making? Can you hear that? <laughs> All right, his approval is plus seven. Awesome. So Alistair um, is warm, has warmed up to us. And okay, so let's see where Wynn's at. Wynn's good. We don't really need to worry about her. Liliana is warm. So Stan is, I feel like I'm just going to take Stan with us. Zevran. I don't think I have anything for Zevran, but you know, let me go. Let me check. Let's see, what can we give Zevran? Um, I think we can give him this. That's not Zevran, actually. I think he's back here. Yeah. I shall treasure it. Thank awesome. You. Okay, so I think that's it for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and pick up this quest over here. And I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? I'm Elyria. I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see... Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Okay. Uh, what promise did Duncan make to you? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Hmm. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one, and our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, 
with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Okay. So what favor did you ask of Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Um, couldn't you just go there by yourself? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Arlen's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. Okay, um... Excuse me, I have the yawns today. Um, what do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted. And it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Okay. Ah, uh, your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. Yeah, I'm gonna help. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. That is actually a, uh, a DLC quest, but we're definitely going to do that in the next episode. Um, this is you know, just to get off the track of uh, doing the main quests. So, yeah. Next episode, we will check out the Dryden um, legend or the quest. And I do thank you guys for hanging out with me today. If you're not a subscriber, I do hope you consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, ciao.